Absolutely, and that health threat was really ramped up across portions of West Texas uh, yesterday. This is actually just outside of Abilene. It's near Sweetwater, Texas. There's a storm chaser out there that did manage to get video of baseball to golf ball sized hail. You can see it there. It's bouncing. Wow, just to cover the roadway here. And here's a closer look at what the image uh, looks like. And again, that was near Sweetwater, which is just to the west of Abilene, right on I-20, right around there. Uh, so I'm going to show you a different map here. We don't show this one too often, but this is our hail outlook at uh, the red highlighted area. That is the area that is most likely to see hail today with the thunderstorms that develop. Not everyone sees it, but the threat is heightened today, especially for large hail. And this is how it happens. We have really strong updrafts possible today. What that means is air getting pushed into our atmosphere. That's being brought on by the cold front that moves in later today. The stronger the updraft, by the way, the larger the hail. So what happens is that when this air gets pushed up, raindrops form, they rise up into the storm, go into an area that's freezing, and that's what turns it into ice. The updraft keeps pushing it up. That ice falls as it gets heavy, but if it's not heavy enough, it gets pushed back up. More ice gets added on the outer edges of this, and eventually you end up with large hail. That's what's possible today. So if you hear sirens, more than likely it's going to be for that hail, but make sure to go inside, gather more information with us. We're going to be here all afternoon. You want to make sure you are in a sturdy building, and if you are in a car, do not go outside. Hail is very dangerous. 